Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Anna, a fourth generation grower and first time suburban homesteader living outside Los Angeles, California. Growing in zone 10A has its challenges and I'm here to teach you how to grow even in difficult conditions. Today is our third day out of a major heat wave and the temperatures are in the 90s instead of close to 100 or over 100. So I'm really happy about that. Now, one of the few one of the things that I really want to talk about in a, an upcoming episode is what exactly you can do before, during, and after a heat wave to make sure that your garden is looking its best. Now, first I'm going to get started with my first announcement, and that is a rebranding of the name, California Garden Goddess. I picked this name because I really thought that I wanted to just cover California native plants. And while I do love covering California native plants, I realized that there are so many other places that I actually want to, uh, so many other things that I really want to do with gardening. You may be wondering, why go through a rebrand when you just launched your channel or the others here? There are a few reasons for this. Most of all, the reason why I want to make these changes is because I don't really feel like I'm a garden goddess of any type. I tend to drop things. I'm a klutz. And I don't think that California garden klutz really has the same ring to it. Also, most people probably can't even spell goddess. It's one of those really difficult <laughs> words to spell. So I'm thinking of doing something completely different. A few years ago, I started a website called Monarch Ranch Homes. That was under, uh, supposed to be for my real estate license. And I honestly didn't do that much with the site because I had some other things crop up and I decided to go with this name, California Garden Goddess. But I just don't feel like this name suits me. So it's time to make a change. Monarch Ranch Homes it doesn't include everything that I want to talk about, so I'm going to be relaunching this channel as Monarch Ranch Home and Garden. We're being visited by a bee right now, so sorry about the buzzing noise if you can hear it. And I hope it doesn't try to go in my hair. Um, anyway, uh, I think that's a carpenter bee. So anyway, um, <laughs> got off track it there. But anyway, I really wanted to show a little bit of why I'm changing my name to Monarch Ranch Home and Garden. And one of the main reasons is because I really wanna show you what you can do with your home and doing home renovations, improving your home for fire safety, all kinds of different things versus just focusing on gardens, right? So we're changing the name to Monarch Ranch Home and Garden. I hope you guys like it. We're gonna be launching some new logos, some new merch, that kind of thing and I'm really excited for this opportunity. One of the other reasons why I really wanted to change my name is because of what I'm going to do. I actually purchased what I think may be the best and perfect vehicle for a gardener. Now, these vehicles were actually designed for Japanese farmers to, to get their produce to market they could also use these trucks and minivans or microvans. They could also use those for their business. And it was really, really big in Japan to have these vehicles. Back in May, I started looking at these vehicles because I just couldn't get enough of how cute they are. They're small and they're actually incredibly inexpensive. Now, the problem is that you have to get them from Japan to the United States and in my case, in California, we have so many rules and regulations regarding vehicles. It's really hard to get things like this smog um, valid for California smog regulations. So we're gonna be doing some, you know, not really cutting through the red tape, but we're gonna be kind of, you know, maneuvering around the red tape, kind of swimming through it. And I'm gonna be filling out tons and tons of forms to be bringing one of these beautiful trucks over to the US to drive around and really have a great time. These vehicles are called K vehicles, which means tiny in Japanese. And it's actually a classification of vehicle that they were able to use for tax purposes. So why don't we have a lot of these in the United States, you may ask? Well, I mean, 
these trucks are not exactly the safest things. They are right hand drive and you also don't have like a lot of, you know, cushion around you. You don't have airbags. You don't have things like that, but these are similar to classic pickup trucks, which don't have either of these things either. They don't have seat belts. They don't have these things. And for a long time, I was looking at like a classic American pickup truck, but these are incredibly expensive and they're gonna give you a lot of problems. They have terrible mileage. And while they're adorable and I love them, they're just not practical. Japanese K vehicles, on the other hand, not only are they great with mileage, they are I have a great capacity, bed capacity, that's actually larger than one of my previous pickup truck that I had, a 2020 Toyota Tacoma long bed. These beds are actually bigger than that. Uh, they're really just incredible vehicles and I'm super excited to drive one. Now, I'm not sure when it's gonna arrive. It hasn't been on the boat yet. So it's probably gonna be another couple of months before I see it, but I'm so excited to share this with you. And I'm gonna talk more about K vehicles and explain exactly what they are to you. The reason why I think these K vehicles are perfect for the American gardener, whether you're in an urban location or in a more rural location, these vehicles are just incredible because they're tiny. You can fit them in your garage. And you're also able to really get a lot of work done with just a small vehicle. I've been looking at used trucks for really like more than a year now, trying to find the perfect vehicle to replace our 2020 Toyota Tacoma that we sold because it, gas was so expensive. Here in California, it's over $5 a gallon. Very, very expensive. So to order, in order to operate this truck, it was costing us so much money every month. And we just weren't really that happy because we weren't really using it that much. When I started, when I decided to start the, this channel, it became more of an urgent thing to get a pickup truck because otherwise we're spending all this money on delivery fees. And that starts to add up quite a bit. It's so convenient to just be able to just get in the a vehicle drive over and like pick up a bunch of soil without worrying about getting your car dirty. You know, if you have a nice SUV for your family, do you really want to be trucking around a bunch of compost, a bunch of, you know, potting mix, that kind of thing? It's just, it doesn't smell good and it's not really good for you to keep those things in your vehicle anyway, right? So I really love the idea of these little tiny pickup trucks and I'm so excited to finally bring it over and share it with all of you. I've been doing research for months on K trucks and I think I found the perfect vehicle for me. This is a 1996 Honda Acti. As you can tell, it's in blue and it needs a little bit of work, but it is in great shape and we're super excited to be bringing this vehicle over to the US. It even has air conditioning, which is obviously ideal and what you need here in Southern California and in many places with all of the heat that we've been having lately. Now, I'd love to hear from all of you about what you think of these K vehicles. Are you interested in purchasing one? Because I might be interested in maybe bringing some more of these over. If you don't wanna go through the paperwork yourself, I'm gonna go through the paperwork and show you exactly how you can bring over one of these K vehicles of your very own.